it's kind of funny. So I bought all these, but then this one right out here in the front, that one's got to go to FedEx right now. Just sold it last night. Crazy. All right, so these are 75% off too, these Pioneer Woman Mercantile. So I picked up four of those. I think they had five. And then these, were like, this is a buck. This is like uh, $2, a little bit less, and this is like a dollar and a quarter or something like that uh, after the discount. So I figured I'd put the three, I put these three with one of these. And so the total cost here is like, I don't know, $9. And I think I'd try and get 40 plus shipping out of it. I think I can do it. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave today. It's me and Sophie in the cave. How you doing, Sophie? Can you say hi? She's been behaving, but in the last five minutes, she's getting a little ornery. So maybe she's going to make it a minute or two. Maybe we're going to have to get rid of her. I tell you, y'all, she's in here. I'm working all day. I'm taking pictures. I'm doing stuff like that. And she just behaved herself. And the moment I turn this camera on, she wants to get up and wander around. She's been laying down there for 30 minutes. So what are you jealous? Is that what it is? Oh, you want to sit down? All right. We had $392.81 in sales today, and I think only like six or seven items sold. So none out of the Homeschool Hustler store. All of those were out of the Commonwealth Picker store. Haven't sold very much out of the Homeschool Hustler store lately, but I think I've only listed two items <laughs> since Christmas in there. So there are some items left from the Nirvana plush sale that we have not even taken out of the cases yet. And I don't even remember what's in there, so I have to get Blue Ridge Mama down here and we'll go through. Maybe we'll video it and put it on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Just a short five-minute video to dig through that. I did do a little bit of retail arbitrage like I typically do. Some Walmart retail arbitrage. I'm not a huge fan of retail arbitrage, to be honest with you. Some of it is just so long tail, and especially at Walmart. When Walmart puts stuff on clearance, it usually goes on clearance everywhere. And 8 million people have it, and it floods the market. But... I will show you some retail arbitrage that I did. I do it every year there, and I make a little bit of money, and it comes in handy at Christmas time the following year. So we'll let you take a look at that. And we had a package from, I think, Bluegrass Picker the other day, and we're going to open that at the very end of the video as well. And maybe one of the items that we sold today, I might put that on a little shipping video. I think it'll be an interesting one to package up, and we'll let you take a look. Sophie's sneezing back here. Sophie, I'm going to let you out of here, okay, girl? You want to come say hi? All right, Sophie's been sneezing back there. Are you allergic to something? Huh? You're allergic to work, I think, is what you're allergic to. Yeah, you better go lay down again. You've only been laying down for 20 hours. All right, say goodbye. All right, so don't forget to hang around to the end of the video if you want to see the retail arbitrage, although I might put that on the beginning. Like I said, you always know before I do because you've already seen the beginning. And then we'll uh, put, put that little gift from Bluegrass Picker in there as well. So without further ado, let's take a look what's sold. All right, here's an item that's been hanging around for quite a while here. And this is a Lexus. It says GSSC in-trunk CD changer, 12-disc CD uh, magazine. So this was, a Blue Ridge Mama bought this, and I think she bought it from Goodwill. I'm pretty sure there's only a couple places she goes, so I think it was Goodwill. And it sold for $30 free shipping. I think we initially had it listed at like $45. And we dropped it slowly over the... It's probably been up there for more than a year or so. Anyways, it's still going to be nice because it's going to stay under 16 ounces. So it'll be first class and we'll make a pretty good profit. I think it was $1.99, maybe 99 cents, something like that. And she picked it up and, and gave it to me. I think I took pictures of it. So a lot of times she'll take pictures of the things that she sells. But something like this, she just hands it off to me. All right, and the next item is a viewer sale, and I'm going to take it out of the bag here in a minute, but I thought this was funny. I occasionally give bags of jewelry to Reagan that I pick up. I just pick up a whole bag of jewelry if it's cheap enough, and I'll give it to her, and she'll go through it, and she'll check to see if there's any markings on it. We usually go back behind her and double check, but she's getting pretty good at it. And then she puts them in baggies and says no marking, or she says 14K, or... Or whatever it says on there, she'll tell us what it says in a little piece of paper. And this one, she said no markings. And I know this is a Ralph Lauren bracelet. This one I didn't pick up in a bag, but I picked it up at a yard sale in Roanoke. I knew it wasn't silver. Well, at least I thought it wasn't silver. There are some of these Ralph Lauren bracelets like that that are silver or being sold as silver on there. But I don't believe this one is. Some are, some aren't, and there are no markings. But this one, nonetheless, it was a buck. And I picked it up. My uncle's like, what are you picking that thing up for? I said, it says Ralph Lauren. 
so he thought it was silver which initially i did too it's why i picked it up but it's not bad it sold for 15 bucks free shipping and i think i paid a buck for it and it is going out to a viewer so joy we appreciate it we hope you enjoy it and it the the, the message says new listener to your youtube channel and a fellow seller in the commonwealth this says of pa the commonwealth of pennsylvania i don't know if you meant va or if you do live in Pennsylvania. So at any rate, thanks so much and we appreciate the sale and it'll be off to you soon. All right, next item here, and this is the, the base unit, the motor unit to it. There's obviously a, a top to this as well. It's a Vitamix 3600. And this, this chrome finish, it's obviously old, little vintage mixer. And it's kind of neat looking, but I bought this at a yard sale not too long ago, probably the very end of summer, maybe early fall. And I saw my buddy there, Honest Tim. Honest Tim, if you're out there, hello. I know you watch every once in a while. You probably remember me picking this right underneath your nose. You're probably mad at me. But it was dark and there's hard to see. I didn't even know it was you there for a minute. At any rate, you found some great stuff. I remember you buying there too. So hopefully we both made some money. And you know, I, I tell you what, we're pretty fortunate to live where we live. There's a lot of cutthroat stuff out there. But around here, you know, I see the same exact faces every single week. I mean, without fail. And Tim, you're one of the good ones, so we appreciate you. I don't think I've ever got into a confrontation ever with anybody about a particular item. Never. I think my wife has at Walmart before, <laughs> but I haven't. And that's just a testament to where we live, I think. But this item sold for quite a bit of money. It sold for $84 free shipping. So just to give you an idea, I list on Macari as well with some items. I listed this on Macari. I had it listed on Macari, and we had dropped the price a few times to see if we could get a buyer. We had watchers. And I had dropped it all the way down to $71. And this one sold for $84 on eBay. So I'm still having much more success on eBay than I am on Macari, without a doubt. I still list on Macari. I still think it's a good idea to learn different platforms and to expand your knowledge base. But right now, eBay is where my money's at. Here's the top of this item. And the seal is kind of a little crusty, a rubber in there. And I listed that on the uh, description. But I got to kind of give some props to Uncle Mark out there. Uh, Uncle Mark, if you're watching, A, I hope you're doing okay. And B, thank you so much for this. Because I think you're the first one I know that sold a Vitamix. And it was a different model. And you sold it for a couple hundred bucks, if I recall. And so when I see these old mixtures, I definitely look them up. This one wasn't amazing. It wasn't the greatest model in the world. But it is working and it sold for 84 bucks. I think I paid five for it. All right, next item comes from the Lost and Found Golf Course sale. And I'll let you take a peek at where we're at on that. We spent 250 bucks. We got four golf bags and a bunch of lost and found used head covers and spent 250 bucks on all of it. And I'm hoping that the bags themselves will sell and put us in the profit and then the head covers will be all pure profit. And this one sold for $115 plus shipping. And the price tag, if you can see it right there, is $169.95. So out the door, this is $156.71. So they're basically paying, paying almost full retail for this. A little bit cheaper, but it's getting shipped to their door. All right, so an update on this sale. We sold four items, two of the golf bags and two club head covers. And we are from $250, we are to $215. So we're almost making our money back. We're about $35 short and we have two bags to sell. And those those bags are a little bit cheaper. I think they're listed like $89 a piece. So we'll definitely make our money back with the bags and a little bit more. And then the club head covers, you'll see us selling them uh, as it gets closer and closer to spring, we'll sell more and more. I think I've only listed about 20 at this point. So we probably will list over a hundred of them. And this is another viewer sale. I haven't had any viewer sales in a while. I hadn't sold an Enaman. I was selling like five or six of these every day. I haven't sold one in a week. So, which, you know, I guess for Christmas, people people uh, were, were giving away stocking stuffers or white elephants or whatnot. So, at any rate, this is a PPG hat, and it it's a paint. I think PPG is a paint. And this is in really nice shape, like almost new. And it went to a viewer, Hannah. We appreciate it. Hannah says, love your videos, like seeing the updates on the shed. And I think if I'm correct, I just heard somebody pull up out there. So Travis and Lisa are probably out there. And that reminds me of something. It reminds me that Travis and Lisa's kids, and they have six children, 
watch the show every now and again and I got a chance to meet one of their children I think a couple of them but one of them was there at their home when I pulled up one day to talk to Travis and I think it was Piper and Piper is autistic and she came out to give me a, a hug so at any rate Piper is nine and then Annabella Kaylee got these names right Caden Kalen and Kason Whew, man that's a lot of that's a lot of K's in there at any rate, I just wanted to say hello to y'all out there. I know you watch, and, and sometimes you get to see your mom and daddy out there in the shit. Forgot to tell you how much this sold for. So, Hannah, this sold for $10.81 free shipping. It came from the Cincinnati Picker lot that we bought on auction. All right, this is an Apple iPod Nano, and it does have the cord. And I think it's fifth generation. It sold for $22.81, which is a little cheaper than these should sell for. You could get 30 bucks for this thing, but it's got a little issue. So first of all, I'm happy to get anything because it was free. It was a box of electronics and a few things that I bought at a yard sale. I think it may air very quickly. I don't think it's come out yet. And we had some pretty good uh, items that I could see on top. And I said, how much for this? And they said, what, the whole box? And I said, yeah. How much for the whole box, even though that wasn't what I was intending. And it gave me a price that I'm like, hey, I'll dig through the rest of the box because I can make profit on these top two items. And this was at the very bottom of that box. And I plugged it in, it is working, but the problem is it will not hold a charge. So you could plug this thing in for an hour and then and let this thing play and it'd be dead in two minutes. So you pretty much have to keep it plugged in when you're using it. Very happy to make the sale because it was basically free, $22.81 free shipping. All right, don't forget to hang around and maybe we'll take a peek at what Bluegrass Picker sent us. And Bluegrass Picker, by the way, I just want to thank you. I never have, even before we do this. Uh, you bought a Rolo printer using our affiliate links. And from what I hear, you really, really like it. So at any rate, we love this Rolo over here. I love it. I tell you what, it's the thing that I wish I would have done years sooner, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't have too many regrets about not buying something. I usually go the cheap route no matter what we do to cut corners and to, to pinch pennies. But that thing is well worth its money, and I am so glad I bought it. So, And I'm sure other ones are great too, Dymos and all that stuff, but that one's the one I chose. And I don't really remember why I picked it, to be perfectly honest with you, but I like it, and it has been worth its weight in gold. Thank you all for joining us. We hope your reselling year is off to a great start and we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for subscribing, for liking this video, and we'll see you next time. All right, y'all, we got a little friend mail, a little something in our P.O. box from Bluegrass Picker. And I already opened this up, but you haven't seen it, so I taped it up down there. You pull it open right there. Okay, why don't you dig through there and see what you get. This is for me right here. This is for you, actually, right here. Yeah. See that? You know what that thing is? What? It is a guitar pick. <gasps> oh. Yeah. He I plays the guitar. I think the mandolin maybe. <laughs> and you have that guitar, huh? Are you kidding? Turner. <laughs> that is cool. I think that's for me. Yeah, he does. Why is that? Well, Spider-Man, so. Turner. This what do you think? I think that's this? homemade salsa or something like that, Ray. I'm not it's quite white. sure. This is talking by itself. Yeah, cool, yeah. Huh? One more thing in here. All right, and a football. Maybe that's for Bubba. And it's autographed. I'll have to check that out. All right, can you all say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. All right, and it's Anthony is his name, and Bluegrass Picker is his channel. So if you get a chance, go on over and check out Bluegrass Picker. See you all later.